you guys welcome back oh my gosh if you watch the podcast then you know exactly what happened and what's going on my hair looks crazy right now y'all so i did get surgery y'all i got surgery and like i actually vlogged i vlogged like literally like the night before telling you guys like guess what you guys are doing it and yeah this is like surgery vlog <laughs> so weird that's so weird but i'm actually already like you guys as you're watching right now I'm actually already almost two weeks post-op and I just really took the time to like relax like just relax and heal because like the first few days I was feeling so weak and like I was just in a lot of pain honestly the first few days so it's been nearly two weeks now and I feel like I already see like a difference like I feel like you'll see from like these clips to like the next clips like, I feel like my face has already slimmed down so much even in just like those two weeks i did the gastric sleeve i'm just gonna like say it here i went into it like on the podcast i if you guys want to like really hear like you know like i guess about like my whole journey to like making the decision to like everything everything i would highly suggest that you guys go to the podcast which is chins and giggles the podcast i and my sister have there i really go in and dive in and explain everything i would suggest like really going to watch that episode to really get a gist of like everything honestly like everything you know so i did it and i'm like oh my god this is crazy like i i did it i did it i was so nervous uh the clips of like actual surgery day and then like after and how re recovery has been and stuff because a lot of you guys have actually asked me so many questions and also just thank you guys so much for like the support like seriously because i was like nervous about talking about this but at the same time like i was just nervous but like i knew i wanted to talk about it i feel like i'm like pretty transparent with you guys about like weight struggles and shit like that but also i was like i have to tell them this like how can i not you know but although i am recovering you guys this video is also sponsored by hellofresh although i cannot eat currently right now obviously you guys know like the first two weeks are the liquid phase raw is still eating hello fresh but you know what hello fresh has actually been coming in clutch in this house right now because since i've been recovering i don't really want to like go out as much you know the first few days were hard because like i didn't even want to look at food because like you know you have to be on liquids and like that's like a whole mind game on its own like seeing food and not being able to eat it now it's funny because like now i'll actually like make food and like i don't have any issues with it like i actually enjoy cooking like these past few days for Raul and Mia but anyway that's besides the point on this day Raul made his own HelloFresh and if you have not heard of HelloFresh HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit you guys you basically get your bags of your meals you get all the produce you get all the protein you get everything that you need to make your meals down to the measurements in these bags literally fresh produce from the farm to your house within a few days so everything is fresh which makes it so convenient because you don't have to run to the grocery store so more than ever actually guys like more than ever Raul has been cooking hello fresh so like he's eating hello fresh like almost on the daily right now so it has been so convenient like i don't even think hello fresh like knows how convenient they have been to my household these last couple weeks because <laughs> i ain't trying to go to the grocery store you can change your meal preferences whenever you can update your delivery days you could even switch your address of course i'm actually really excited to switch up the preferences as i get back into food because as you know hello fresh has pescatarian they have veggie smart they have calorie smart options low carb etc i always just get like like all kinds of stuff because I'm always just down to try like all types of meals but I'm really excited that I'll be able to change my preference now and actually ask them for like you know once I get back into food you know like high protein low carb or like calorie smart stuff I'm excited that I could do that with HelloFresh so I could actually stick to my goals and stuff because what I did is like a whole lifestyle change y'all also in general like the kids are back to school full-blown in school again my little brother and sister and even my little sister Jasmine like she'll make herself hello fresh she'll take it to school and stuff i feel like everyone in my household right now is just like obsessed with hello fresh honestly with that being said hello fresh cuts down on your food waste by at least 25 percent compared to grocery shopping because it comes with everything you need already in your bag down to the measurements so you're not wasting food and here's raul trying out the meal which he definitely enjoyed that looks amazing it smells really good too Oh my god. I smell the pork, the sauces. Even Mia had some of the rice and Shallow green beans rice. and she loved it. Too. Let's so try it, Squish. Bit of everything. Sheesh. That looks so good, Roll. 
Mm. How is it? It's like sweet but savory at the same time. Mm. Mm. That sounds bomb. The pork is really good. It looks in, yeah, it smells incredible. It's very first tender, of all. the pork. The little sauce that you toss it with, really good. Buttery. The rice looks so good too, Raul. This, you you mm. did that. That looks so freaking good. I'm not gonna lie, I was jealous because I haven't tried that specific meal and I was like, that looks delicious. Also, HelloFresh has a very special offer for you guys. For 65% off of your HelloFresh plus free shipping, use my code 65Karina at HelloFresh.com. Again, for 65, 65% off of your HelloFresh plus free shipping, use code 65Karina at HelloFresh.com. All right, now let's go back two weeks ago, the night before surgery. Guys, oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing this video. Like, this is so crazy, y'all. Um, I have a lot to talk to you guys about. You're literally on a, I have you guys sitting on a, on a towel, a paper towel thing. I'm assuming like a lot is gonna have changed months from now and I'm gonna look back and like see my progress. So I really just wanna be transparent with you guys about like everything, honestly. But anyways, where do I even like begin? Like, where do I even begin talking to you guys? I have been telling you guys on the podcast like how i had been wanting to do this like especially after my brother did it he did it like a few months ago now or like two months ago let me just back it up back it up back it up back it up like a power truck let me back it up like a year ago okay you guys because i'm not at my biggest right now i'm not at my biggest um i feel big compared to like what i had lost because i did lose weight um i have like put on weight again and i'm starting to feel really insecure in like august or september of last year is when i started to look into the well i started to like actually seek a doctor because i've always heard about the gastric sleeve or like the bypass like different gastric surgeries or like you know bariatrics i have heard about them for like a long time and i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna be real like a teenage me would have never have ever thought that i would actually like do it like for sure i've been overweight my whole life basically like as a kid i was like a normal skinny kid but that's like before the age of like i want to say like six or so i feel like anything from like first grade and up I've always been bigger. I mean, definitely, like, I've had my highs and lows with weight. Like, I'll do, like, diets and stuff. And, like, I do, like, lose weight. And then, like, I'll, like, gain it. I feel like I've kind of, like, I've, and I told you guys about this on the podcast. I feel like I've just been, like, a yo-yo, like, my whole life with my diet, like, with my weight. I've never, I've never hit my goal weight, like, ever. That's for sure. Like, I've never been able to hit, like, my goal weight. I don't even know what my goal weight is. But a year or so ago, I really started to look into it and i chickened out with the sleeve i chickened the fuck out and honestly at the time when i did make like an online consultation with a doctor i remember he was like you should do it you know and by the way i am going to a doctor here in the u.s people were just like curious i know my brother went out in like mexico but he he had also done like his research and everything it's just that since i since i've been in contact with this doctor for over a year now like i just already got comfortable with them and that's why i'm like i'm going here yeah and it's actually in torrance california if you guys want to know more info follow along but it's torrance Bar bariatrics in um Torrance, California. I found them because I was just doing a bunch of research and stuff and they had really good reviews. So that's why I decided to ultimately go with them. So when I did the consultation with him, he told me that I was like the perfect candidate for the sleeve. You know, I've been pre-diabetic for like as long as I've known y'all. Like as long as I've fucking known I've been pre-diabetic. You know, whenever I get blood work, they'll be like, you really gotta watch your health because this is like a window to your future and you will get diabetes. Like you will. And this is something I hear from doctors all the time and i feel like that does keep me on my feet with like trying to like eat healthy and stuff because i do have my moments where i eat healthy and there's moments where like i get off track and i eat healthy and i get off track but it's a constant yo-yo where like i always go back to my highest weight y'all and i was actually talking this like i didn't even know this was a thing i didn't know this was a thing but this doctor told me that it's something about your metabolic system i really suck at this wording i wish he was here right now to tell you guys what i'm talking about but um he said that basically like once you hit a certain weight which is like usually your highest weight usually like you'll do diets and stuff and you do it and then you start you get off track and then somehow you always go hit that weight again or higher your body will always try to go to that weight again 
because it's like set in your metabolic system i don't know how to explain it the point is the way he explained it to me was like i was like holy shit that makes complete sense because like you know and everybody's different you know there is people that have the i that could do like a whole weight loss journey and like we'll lose a bunch of weight and keep it off that's amazing that's so amazing and you know what i just gotta say like for those of people that think it's like a way of like cheating your way out or stuff you know like if it were easy to just <laughs> lose weight and stay skinny y'all like obesity would not be such a huge issue <laughs> in america or in the world in general and like me being fat and me getting a weight loss surgery shouldn't affect you to the point that you're like you fucking fat bitch you could have done this on your own go to the fucking gym and lose weight blah 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 it was a really hard decision to make a really hard decision to tell someone like you didn't try you don't even know if they did or not like you don't know how many times they have lost weight and how many weight loss journeys they've had and i know that like if i don't change change now you know i see it like, like this and something about hitting my late 20s has hit me the most especially after i had my daughter it's like when it really like started like um when i really started thinking about this like really started thinking about it and like i'm literally gonna hit my 30s soon i'm 28 i'm gonna be 29 in a few months dude in february hitting my 30s like it's gonna get even harder like i feel like if anything right now i'm like this is probably the best time to do this before there is more issues you know again everybody has their opinions guys everybody has their different opinion different opinions on this surgery bitch last night i was getting cold feet i was getting such cold feet i was like terrified i was like oh my god how am i gonna do this shit like they're literally going into your organs like if you don't know what a sleeve is you have your stomach like your stomach organ and they cut the fundus they leave behind like your stomach is the size of like a banana i know that years down the road i'll look back and be like i'm so happy i did that you know what i mean um so i see this as a huge like form of self-care to myself honestly i'm like i deserve this shit i feel like i'm like dang i actually feel like why didn't i do this like sooner you know when i went to my pre-op y'all i was like fuck i was scared to step on that scale i was like oh god here we fucking go here we go like i know i like haven't been doing it well and i hadn't weighed myself like i had not weighed myself and i step on the fucking scale girl when i saw those numbers now let me tell you guys how much i weigh right now right now i currently weigh 230 pounds my heaviest was like in like well like last year yeah like after i had mia i had like lost a bunch of weight because like breastfeeding and stuff i'm sure and then like naturally i was just losing a lot of weight after i had mia and then months after i had mia like around like halloween time or so i fucking blew up to my biggest and like i don't think a lot of you guys saw a lot of that i don't think you did but i'm listen i'm excited i'm nervous as hell when i think about the actual surgery and like the recovery part but when i see it as like a long-term thing i'm like this is great this is like the best thing i could probably do honestly i feel like that last time that i would did that weight loss video with you guys it felt really good to just like be vulnerable honestly and just let it all out like it felt like i was like just talking to you like right here and you're just a friend and we're talking about like weight loss you know so here i am months later who would have fucking known y'all i think in that video i did tell you guys that i was considering the sleeve and here we are y'all the night before oh my god anyways okay guys i'm on my way right now to the facility guys i'm on, i'm on my little like can't talk i'm on my way there y'all we're like 20 minutes away I was telling Raul last night just how nervous I was, y'all. Like, I'm really trying not to overthink it. Like, I'm trying to hype myself up. I'm so tired. I was telling Raul, I'm like, it's crazy how, like, your body's just gonna go through all that, like, within a few hours. Your body has no idea. Your stomach has no idea. My stomach has no idea. I feel so bad for her. I want to be there soon, and... Oh, we're almost there. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, I'm gonna be there soon. I gotta go, because I can't even think straight out, but I'll... Um, I'll see y'all when I'm there. So it's been about an hour-ish or so since she's been out. 
doctor said everything went great not no complications she's just resting her now hey how do you feel she just been in, in and out of sleep for the past hour hmm? huh how do you feel for now So it's been like three hours since you came out of surgery. Curtin's been out of, uh, in and out of sleep the past two, three hours. She says she feels a lot of gas pain. That's like one of the main symptoms right now. Hey mama. So Karina just went for a walk. She did her little lap. She used the restroom. She changed clothes. And they even gave her a protein drink. And she's been doing this breathing exercise where she like inhales 10 times. And she has to pass this line. So far she's just on it, but nurses say that she's doing great. Looks busted. A little bit, oh and then when like when you were out like that first for out that first one hour, that first hour after surgery. So I thank you God I made it out of surgery. I was so scared for surgery, like I was just so scared because they literally like you know like I watched all the videos and how they do it. They pump a lot of gas in your stomach, when like inside it, like your, where your organs are, like the cavity where everything sits. So they could like get in there and do everything they have to do, right? And like, I had watched so many videos already because when we did it, like I was just curious. And also, I'm drinking my protein water. It's a protein water that I'm supposed to be drinking. They served it for me on the day of surgery because it's hard to keep liquids down right now. Um, so it's like easier to drink it with it. It's a what, well, mommy? She almost fell. I know after like actual surgery, Raul must have vlogged some stuff. I haven't vlogged a thing since surgery until now. But I want to just talk to you guys about like everything. So surgery went well. Shit is not easy, y'all. Like it is not easy at all. But we did it. We got through surgery, y'all. And from here on out, it's just like recovery and there's a whole liquid phase you have to do and honestly like it's already been what am i like three days out already bro also i'm two days out oh my god i lost track of time when they do the surgery on you i have so much gas oh when they do the surgery on you they pump you with a bunch of gas so you have to like walk it off after and like i did try to walk a lot like while i was at the hospital and stuff but it's just so like it's you know the first day was rough i have to be honest the first day was rough i felt so bloated with all this gas in me like to the point that i felt the gas in my chest i felt it in my shoulders i felt it in my neck i felt the gas everywhere and then um they they bring you this like this is like a few hours after surgery they bring you your protein water they tell you like drink as much as you can like very sip it slowly if you have to even if it's just like a drop try to stay hydrated you know with your protein or your water this stuff is not bad it's like i think it's pretty good i, I like i've always liked protein like i've always been a fan of like protein shakes and stuff so i'm really excited for that phase like when i get into that like phase right now it's pure pure clear liquid which is already just water and clear protein and some broth basically but like going into surgery first of all like they were really kind and stuff i wasn't like as nervous like getting rolled in because like they put some medication on me that made me feel like drunk and i was like i felt like comfortable and stuff but um he told me everything that went well um he did like a hernia repair like on my esophagus like the, at the bottom 
of my esophagus i guess it's like a, it was a little wide and he asked me if i get like acid reflux and stuff which i do and he like repaired it so that after which you know with like a gastric sleep in general like you will get you're prone more to like acid reflux and stuff like that so he went ahead and like repaired it so that i don't have to deal with too much of that you know and also i have a hernia in my belly button but like he said that that's something we could fix later on they were telling me like you're 28 years old like this is the best time you could have done this like this is great they told me i did like they the nurse was so kind she was telling me i was doing so good because like i wasn't asking much for like pain medication the day of but like i truly did feel like shit i guess i just didn't like ask too much like i'm just so stupid like that i guess i didn't want to bug them i don't know but she was telling me like you're doing so good you're not even asking for pain meds and i was like that's why i feel like i'm dying but they would they took such good care of me y'all like such good care of me i got home yesterday and i just been here honestly like even getting like the like a slightest amount of protein ever has been really hard because since your stomach was freshly cut like you're literally your stomach like the water anything you drink like i literally will take a little tiny sip like i'm talking like a drop a drop and i feel it go down fucking uncomfortable oh, i hate that feeling i hate that feeling i literally feel it like every little drop that i drink I feel it go down my throat, down my esophagus, and I feel it hit my stomach. I feel like every drop hit my stomach right now, and it's so uncomfortable. But you know, it's just been like, I'm also on different medications right now. I'm on painkillers, I'm on like acid reflex stuff, I'm on uh, like spasm medication for my stomach. Oh my god, because the day I got out of surgery, y'all, when they were trying to have when they were trying to introduce me to my liquids like the moment I took any sip at all I started like dry heaving and that was the most painful thing I've ever experienced y'all imagine your stomach was just cut like your stomach just went through a gastric sleeve surgery and you're dry heaving hours later the most painful experience ever I was even telling them like is this okay to like dry heave because like is that dangerous and they were like no it's fine you're not gonna hurt like the stomach it's just gonna hurt a lot and like i was trying so hard not to dry heave but like i was so so nauseous after the surgery that i was like Ugh. like it was so horrible and like the cramping that i felt in my stomach was like a pain like no other i have to be so honest with you guys like, i have to be so real with you guys because i'm feeling a lot better right now but the first day i was like dude i felt like I was down bad. I was down bad.